y'all welcome back to fly 50 it's foundation friday and this friday as promised we are going to be doing the kvd good apple full coverage serum foundation all right this serum foundation is supposed to be good for oily combo skin but I saw a few people with dry skin using it so I am going to give it a try let me tell you a little bit about it okay this is a vegan full coverage cruelty free natural finish best for oily combo and normal skin it says here on Sephora that it's a lightweight, full coverage foundation that blends and bends with skin for a natural, seamless finish and transfer proof, extreme long wear. It has quince leaf extract to keep shine in check, apple extract to nourish and keep skin looking fresh, and glycerin, which nourishes the skin all day. For all day comfort it costs $42 and there are 40 colors and I have mine in 10 06 this is the same shade that I have the balm in so this is the packaging the this is this is the top is definitely plastic, but I think this bottom either it's a very hard plastic or it's glass. But uh, this is what it looks like. You get one ounce of product. And it tells you to shake well before using. So I already have my skincare and my SPF on. I tried to use the most uh, moisturizing products that I have. So I did that on my face. And I am going to be using two different primers, one on one side and one on the other. This Rich B from Freck, it's very hydrating. And this Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer is very hydrating. I even forgot I had this. This was in my skincare drawer and I went in there and I was like, what is doing in here? And I tried it and I loved it. And guess what? They don't sell this no more. I'm gonna do one side with Freck Beauty and one side with the cover FX just to see if one does a better job at helping me with this foundation. Come in. All right, so I got the Freck Beauty on this side. It's more creamy. And I have the cover effects over this side, which is a little more, it's not oily, but it has more oils in it. You can tell it has more oils in it. So, let's go ahead and get started. This, you're supposed to shake this up real good. I will be using my sponge to put it on. Okay, pull off. Yes, it does have a pump. A little skinny pump. I'm going to put Okay, it's, it's, so it's a little runny, but it has a thicker consistency to it. Even though it's the same as the balm, it feels like it's a little, it looks like, it looks like it's a little warmer. So let's blend it all out. This is it all blended in. It, it is indeed light. It does not feel heavy at all. I'm trying to see if it starts getting tight or something. All right, so it's feeling good. It's feeling good. I like the way it's looking. The balm seems more neutral. Is this tan 06? Yeah, tan 076. Yeah, but the bombs felt like it was more neutral than this one. 
and I do have some luminosity so I don't know if that's due to the primers I use or that th is this product but I do have the same luminosity on both sides I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and finish my makeup off camera and then when I come back I'll show you that finished look and then come back at the end of the day to tell you my final thoughts. All right y'all I'm back with the finished look. This is how, how it came out. I even put on some lashes. They look crazy but I gotta get back in the habit of uh, putting them on so. And I put them on top, so is what it is. But yeah, this is the finished look. This is how it all came together. I like how it's looking. The foundation looks good. I like the tone. I like the undertone. I like the way it feels on my skin. It does not feel drying at all. It feels nice and comfortable and light. So now it let's let's test to see if it is indeed transfer proof. I'm really doing it. Um that doesn't look transfer proof to me. It shouldn't depend on what type of primer you use out of they should it. I don't know, but I guess I won't have transfer proof because I cannot use no matte primer. So mm, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Time is 11.42, so I'll come back in a few hours just to let you see how it's doing. I don't have anything to do today. I am just going to walk the dog. That is it. But that is a chore in itself because of this Florida heat, you know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that is it. Thank you all so No, not time for that. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple hours. Just hang on. No, I'm just kidding. Hey y'all, I am back. It's the end of the day. End of the day for me. I'm ready to start winding down. Take me a shower and not go to bed yet because it's only 6.30. But I'm an early bird, you know, early bird to bed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I came back just to let you see. I don't even think I need to do any more of these weird tests because they don't ever look, my makeup never looks different. I think, I don't know. But anyway, I'm just ready to wind down, chill, watch a movie. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this foundation Friday up. My face does not look dry. This does not feel like something that will go matte. It felt good all day. I even have a, some, some luminosity on my skin like a little sheen on my skin I think it looks really good it is long wearing I took my dog my daughter's dog for a walk in the Florida heat I this was the long a long walk it's about 30 minutes out in that heat and sweated a little and my face still looks fine I did not touch up anything on my face except my lipstick but yeah that's it looks good so I have normal dry skin mature skin and I've used both the balm and now the serum and they both did me justice okay so I'm, I'm happy about that so, so that's it <laughs> all right y'all that's it for this video thank you so much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you I truly do Thank you so much for coming back time and time again to my channel. Or thank you for, if you're new here. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Well, I am about to leave. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.